Frustration and anger continues to grow over gun violence in the U.S., especially for families that are intimately familiar with this type of heartbreak. Joining me now is Linda Beagle Shulman. Her son, Scott, was a teacher at Marjorie Stoneman Douglas High School and was killed in that Parkland, Florida shooting. He also, I should say, was killed as he was trying to protect his students. You are now an advocate for gun safety. Thank you for being here and for talking to all of us about your experiences. After the Buffalo shooting, we know that you were advising New York's governor, that you were there talking about sensible gun control measures. Now you're seeing an elementary school shooting in Texas. Horrific. How are you feeling in this moment? I, I, I feel like I'm being tortured. I, I honestly feel like I'm being tortured. Um, it's not, it does not bring me back to where I was 1,562 days ago because I'm always there. I will never forget sitting in that command center when one of the law enforcement turned to me and said, you know, your son was really a hero. And then two people over from him said, but he didn't make it. And when I say torture, I know what these families are going through right now. It is today, today yesterday, it, it, for them, it's just like disbelief. It, it hasn't penetrated, it hasn't even sunk in. They, have, they, they are now, for the first time, even realizing that they have to have funerals and they're burying their children. Or for two, two of the adults, their children are burying their parents at such a because of such, such a hor horrific happening that didn't have to happen. You pushed for a law in New York named after your son. It is called the, J the Scott J. Beagle Unfinished Receiver Act. Tell us about that. Um, you know, it's all about that particular legislation that was passed is about ghost guns. And um, four years ago, pretty much, Nobody really knew about ghost guns. Ghost guns are something that you can actually go online, let's say on a Monday, you can order the parts, and by Wednesday, Thursday, the parts are delivered to wherever you ask them to be delivered. Um, they come with instructions, and um, you can go online, you can go to YouTube, you can watch the videos. In under an hour, you can put them together. Um, you drill four or five holes, and now you have a working firearm, and it's untraceable, and I must ask, and, and I ask anybody who will listen, what do you own that doesn't have a serial number? Tell me one thing you own. Cans of food have numbers for recalls. Clothing has numbers in case they have to recall. What do you own that doesn't have a serial number? So why should a firearm, a firearm, not be serialized? Linda, do you feel like you're just screaming into the void? No. I'm not screaming into the void because four years ago, nobody even knew what ghost guns were really all about. And here, here I was just a couple of weeks ago with President Biden when he spoke about a regulation, a federal regulation on ghost guns. We passed, we passed the legislation in New York. It doesn't happen overnight. It's unfortunate, but it doesn't happen overnight. But I know, I know we will get gun safety measures put in place and gun safety legislation. We don't want gun control. I wish people would look at their words. It's like defund the police, okay, or reform the police. We don't want to control. We want gun safety. We're not looking to take away people's guns. And, and that's, what, that's what's happening. They, they, take, they take words and they twist them, just like the Second Amendment. They can take that Second Amendment and twist it into anything they want, and whenever they don't want to do anything about gun safety, it's all about the Second Amendment. It, it, it should not be political. This should not be political, ghost guns especially. It's not on the right, and it's not on the right, and it's not on the left. It shouldn't be across party lines. This is something for the safety of everyone. This is to keep people alive. And, and as far as talking and talking, everybody asks that question. Do you feel like you're beating your head against the wall? No. You know why? Because we are going to make the change, not our elected officials. Okay? They talked about this gunman in, or just now in Texas, and they said he, he, he was a lone gunman. He was not. 
He had the NRA, NRA behind him. He had um, Governor Abbott behind him. He had the Lieutenant gov Governor behind him. Do you think they're all complicit? Yes, 100%. I mean, look at Ted Cruz. Look at Mitch McConnell. I mean, what are they doing? Look at the Senate. Look at this Republican Senate. I mean, they're holding us hostage. They're literally holding us hostage. Fifty senators are holding us hostage. And all we want is reasonable gun safety. Everybody has the right to be safe. We have the right to be safe, and we have the right to live without fear. We have that right. Why are you taking it away from us? Why can't you see that? Why can't you do what's the good of everyone? It doesn't hurt anyone. Linda, as you are being tortured, as you said, reliving, or, or not even reliving, I, I don't want to say reliving, but feeling like this shouldn't be happening, knowing that there are more parents now that are grieving the loss of their children, I just want to give you the opportunity to remember Scott and say something about him so that we're not focused only on the perpetrators, but we're remembering those people that fuel you today. Scott was an amazing young man. I didn't even know quite how amazing he was until I received so many letters and, and texts and phone calls and, and his students. I keep in touch with his students. Um, Scott was just a, he was like a normal kid. He was my son. He was just a normal kid. He wasn't, you know, special in any way except for the way he lived his life. Scott really, he taught the way he wanted to be taught. You know, he, he taught in a, a couple of different schools and he said, this is not where I want to teach. I want to be able to teach a lesson, not according to a lesson plan, but to make sure that at the end of the lesson, they understand it, not necessarily with a, with a book. And we know that he saved lives. He saved day. 31 lives from what I was told. Linda, I, we grieve with you. And thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. Thank you.